don't care. Yeah. I'm in my pretty girl era. I don't care. Namaste. Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. I'm nervous. <laughs> like, I'm nervous. Like, I don't do this. You know what I mean? Hi. Hi. Hey, guys. Um, welcoming to Much Music, Lou Kala. How are we feeling right now? I feel really good. I'm excited to be here today. I want to talk about the drip real quick. You know, I wanted to say a lot of things before we film, but let's talk about the outfit. What we got going on? You know, I like my little disco vibes, but like make it daytime. Yeah. This cute little top with the feathers. <laughs> the, the fur? The like, feathers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm usually such a colorful person, so mm -hmm. I'm like, if we're not going to be colorful today, we're going to have the feathers popping. The hair is doing all the color you're talking today. Yes, yes. Let's start off with the TikTok um, Elevate program. Yeah. Now, you are in the first class of artists that are going to be in it. Do you feel like an Avenger? How does that feel? It feels amazing. I mean, like, to be one of the six people selected all over the world to be a part of it. Yeah. Per, to represent for Canada. Per. Per, to represent yep. for Toronto. Another per. So, I don't <laughs> know. I'm really happy. I'm feeling really blessed. Don't sleep on the kid. What's your favorite TikTok trend right now? My favorite thing on TikTok is like, I'm a Reddit person oh, on Reddit. TikTok. Oh. It's so funny. I don't think I've ever been on Reddit like .com, mm -hmm. but I love Reddit talk on TikTok. I need you to talk to me and tell me the stories. Oh, right, and right, right. people be going through some stuff. That's my favorite thing. The fans wanted to get to know you in like maybe a sentence. Yeah. What is Luke Calla saying? I mean, Luke Calla is just this a really cute girl from Toronto. I right, talk your shit. You know, she makes some very amazing pop music with very catchy hooks. She mm -hmm. got that orange hair, and don't get it twisted. We've been rocking that for many, many, many okay, years. Okay, so you've been rocking it first. And, I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> love, to, love yeah. to all the gingers, love yeah. to everybody with the orange hair, you know, but right. it's been six years deep, baby. I just make pop music that I want people to dance to, and I want people to feel themselves to, and I also make vulnerable music that I want you to see yourself through me. Well, has it always been a dance music type of vibe for you or how is that like, how has your progression been? No, I think like my more up-tempo things are somewhat newer. Mm. I mean, I did play around with little things. Like I have a song called No Smoke. That came out in 2020 during the pandemic, mm. a pandemic record. And yeah, yeah. But I actually wrote that one in 2018 and that had like a disco funk feel to it. Amazing. But outside of that, I feel like more of the up-tempo stuff have been more recent because I was like, we the whole world been sad for a minute. For like we need some fun moments. Like I want to celebrate. I want some outside music as well. Yeah. I'm tired of being inside. I mean, I should be inside a little more, but <laughs> I'm doing it for the people. I want to give them something new, yeah, um, yeah. something fun and I'm a very bubbly person mm. and I felt like people were hearing some of my more vulnerable and sad records thinking like, oh, does she like, is she always like sad? I'm like, girl, right, that's right. not me. No, definitely not. I'm it's just fun. Side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're definitely showcasing that in, in a lot of your more recent tracks. Yeah. Um, pretty Girl Era, man. I'm in my Pretty Girl Era. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, <laughs> that song obviously is is a is a complete vibe, and I feel like it speaks to a lot of people. It makes you want to move. You know, it makes you feel good. How was that writing process, and how long did that take you to make? It's so crazy because I remember um, I had started on that song with some friends, like, and we had only done the hook. Mm. And then I was in New York last summer in August. And I don't know, I was really feeling myself one day. I was like, I was like, I was like, I've been drinking my water, we've been going to the gym, waist looking snatchy a little bit. You know, everything feels good. So yeah, then yeah, I was yeah. like, I was like, I feel really pretty. And I was like, I just wanna post, I literally just wanted to use the chorus to just show like how I felt about myself. Right. And I didn't expect like once I started showing, like using that song that people would be like, wait, we want this record. Right. So then I had to be like, oh wait, I have to actually finish this because it was literally only a chorus. So Crazy. It took a second to drop because we had to finish it and I'm not yeah. gonna drop it unless it feels perfect. Yeah. I started using that song, like the sound, when I, um, because I felt really good on that day, but mm. I also wrote that song going into the studio and literally saying like, I feel like I'm my dream girl. Like I feel like mm. I'm this and I wanted to put that into a song. Yeah. And I don't know, I'm so happy people are enjoying it. It's a good, it's a good vibe. I need people to feel good. Like, I feel like you need to wake up and play Pretty Girl Air yeah. or other records that just make you feel like I feel good. Cause I feel like the world already doesn't give a fuck about you. People are going to make you feel like shit. So if you have something to, that you could like wake up and be like, nah, like this is my anthem. I feel good about myself no matter what happens today. I feel good and I know who I am. Like, I feel like we need more of that. It's a feel good record. 
Yeah, no. The baddies get it. That's dope. Like, you know what I'm saying? As a dude, like, I'm a pretty girl, you know, I'm a pretty boy era. Is that, is that a thing? It's been a lot. Like, is it a remix? Like, am no. I in my pretty boy era? Like, what's going on? No, there's actually been men, um, like, straight men. There's been, like, non-binary people. Like, yeah. there's been people that literally asked me. They, they asked for the remix. Or they okay. said, this is crazy because, like, I'm a man and I should not be into this right now. And they're like, I want to drive and scream the lyrics, but they're like, I got to put the window open. Yes. I don't want people to know that I'm a boy singing this song. Nah, and fellas, like, roll the window down. Put the roof yeah, out. You know what I mean? Say like, that shit with your chest. Yeah. I just feel like you're allowed to feel pretty, beautiful, whatever you want to call it. Like, you're allowed to feel good about yourself. Right. And um, that's genderless to me. Hey, put your head out the window and sing. Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> that might be dangerous. After this pretty girl era, like, what era is next? I mean, I feel like... She was in her pretty girl era, but she's even hotter now. I'm so excited. I'm going to be dropping my song very soon. It's called Hotter Now. Okay. And like, that's the era we in. But I want everybody to feel sexy with this one. I want to feel like, yeah, that's me for real. How do you feel about the soft boy era? Like, what's your take on that? Is that like men taking care of themselves? I don't know. So I just saw like, I saw this TikTok of people saying like, this girl's like, oh, like every dude right now is in their soft boy era. And it was kind of like, not not negative, but it wasn't like, she wasn't like amped about it, you know? <laughs> So what is that? I know, I know when you hear girls, soft boy era, what is that? I know a lot of girls are not feeling that. I'm not going to hold you. But I mean, I think it's nice that men are starting to feel safe enough to feel comfortable to showcase like the softer sides of them. I think it's a good thing. Yeah. I mean, now, I'm not treating you to the date. Don't get it twisted. We're yeah. not doing all that. But yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> get a pedicure. Get your nails done. You know, like do your skincare routine. Like, like treat yourself well, like king it up, babes. Um, if you were to say, uh, Teddy, you're in your, what era am I in? Oh, oh. You're in your smooth boy era. Smooth boy. It's giving smooth boy. Damn. It's giving curly boy. Damn. It's giving beard. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just connected, like it just connected. You know what I mean? Okay, so let's end. I want to kind of like vibe with you, you know, like the the pretty girl song. I don't think I could play it, or else there's gonna be some copyright. But can we just like jam together to the chorus? Like, yeah. Okay, so how are we gonna start? Da da. Ah, no, I, you have to do the I don't care. Okay. Thank <clears throat> you. No, but see, like you gotta deliver it. I don't care. Yeah. Right. I'm in my pretty girl era. I don't care. <laughs> when I see myself in the mirror. <laughs> Teddy, Teddy, yeah, Teddy, you're yeah. not for real. I'm, no, 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 no I'm real. just, I'm trying, like, you know, like, I want it, like. Let's do it back. What's, wait, what's, the, what's after the I don't care, though? I'm a stare. I'm a stare. You're not staring enough in the mirror. I don't care. Yeah. I'm in my pretty girl era. I don't care. No, I'm a stare. Oh, dear, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm nervous, <laughs> like, I'm nervous, like, I don't do this, you know what I mean? Hold on, hold on, let's bring it back. One more last time, last time. Much music, Teddy and Lucala. And I don't care. I'm in my pretty girl era. I'm a stare. When I see myself in the mirror. Oh, tis the season, it's the hearty time of the year. I, I don't care. Yeah. I'm in my pretty girl era. Purr. Her. And that's it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, again, my name is Teddy and she is Lou Calla. The floor is yours. Lou, you can say anything you want now. Y'all get ready for the new music. I cannot wait for you guys to hear Hotter Now. You know, I think we've all been through breakups where your toxic ex try to tell you like, you're not going to be shit without him. Try to tell you that like, you know, like, it's as good as it's getting. Yeah, I need the double microphone to let you guys know. You feel like... I might be frumpy, I'm gonna be heartbroken forever, I'm gonna cry. But then one day you wake up and you're like, pause, I'm even hotter now. It's literally my time, it's for you. It's for the baddies, I don't even realize they're the baddies yet. Like they don't realize that like the blessing was us breaking up. Yes, Hotter Now season loading right now. New era. Much love. Bye.